Aloy. Let us speak, Aloy. So, it's time. Are you ready? Yes, I guess. It's louder than I expected. You've never been so close before. I guess everything's bigger up close. Soon it'll all seem familiar. Like home. I don't know about that. Look for High Matriarch Tirsa. She'll help you. Any other concerns? Are you sure they're gonna let me in? <laughs> I've told you, Aloy. By law, any child outcast can run in the Proving. And any who pass are made braves and are outcasts no more. I know that. But not everyone follows the law like you do, Rost. Have faith, Aloy. The tribe will honor your right. What should I expect once I'm inside? There will be people celebrating and feasting. More than you've ever seen in one place. No other village compares to Mother's Heart. It is the seat of the High Matriarchs, a center of Nora life, a jewel of the sacred land. Give it time, and you'll grow fond of it. As I was, back when I was at the tribe. I'm ready to do this. See you back home in a few days? You will not find me there, Aloy. Here. Take this, too. Remember. Why are you talking like we'll never see each other again? No. No! You should be with the tribe. And I will always be an outcast. But I told you, I have that figured out. I'll come to you in secret. I'll be the one breaking the law, not you. You don't even have to talk to me. This attachment to me will only hold you back. It's my wish that you embrace the tribe. You've lived in isolation long enough. Not until now, I didn't. For your sake, I must go where you will never find me. This... This is goodbye. Fine. Better for me, actually, to not have to waste any more time on you. I hope one day you will understand. See? It's easy throwing away worthless things, isn't it? I've disappointed you. I hope you'll forgive me someday. How could you do this to me? On today of all days. I, I can't, I can't think about it, not now. I have to keep my mind on the proving. You will turn back, outcast. Or bleed. Your choice. Make way! Make way! Braves, stand aside. She is welcome here. Mother's heart is open to you, child. Come. I assure you, most Nora aren't so rude as those idiots. You're Tirsa? <laughs> Who else would I be? Come on now. I've been waiting for this day a long time. You have? Oh, yes. But for the moment, I must leave you. I have other outsiders to keep safe tonight. You what? Envoys from another tribe, the Karja. Come to observe the proving, and oh, how the Nora hate the Karja. Karja. But that's my problem. We will talk later. In the meantime, enjoy the festival. Oh, down the path to the right, you'll find an old friend who can't wait to see you. But I don't know anyone here. <laughs> Try telling him that. We will talk later. May the goddess protect. What is going on? It's 
you, isn't it? <laughs> Over here. We'll show her. It is Aloy, isn't it? I'm remembering your name correctly? Are you the old friend Tirsa told me about? I don't know you. <laughs> I see you don't recognize me. Well, it was a long time ago. Teb is my name. You were half my size when you saved me from a herd of machines. I remember. You tried to thank me. I never forgot that day. All these years, I hoped to see you again, if you came to run in the Proving. As you can see, I didn't turn out to be much of a hunter. I served the tribe as a stitcher instead, a maker of garments and armor. In preparation for this day, I've made an outfit for you. I hope you like it. What's it going to cost? Cost? <laughs> Nothing. Consider the thanks I tried to give years ago. Long overdue. Seems to fit you perfectly. Uh, thank you, Tab. I've never had anything like this before. Well, it's yours. I think you'll find it affords more protection than what you were wearing. Every outfit offers some advantage. It's always a trade-off. Anyway, I shouldn't keep you any longer. Head for the Matriarch's Lodge if you want to find Tirsa. You'll know it when you see it. A large wooden building with an angry mob waiting outside? Tirsa said something about envoys from another tribe? Yes, that's what the mob's angry about. Karja visiting our sacred land for the first time in years. I'd expect to see some tomatoes fly, maybe rocks. Hopefully not spears. In any case, be ready to duck. Did that tree just wink at me? Well, I don't think this is a tree. Interesting. Supposed to go now. climbing on other people's you'll roofs. You'll have to tell huh? this when I'm gone. In the beginning, all life came from all mother. People, machines, and beasts, all nice. were her children. They lived it's alongside better than last year. Her in the comfort of her wild embrace. But some grew restless. Aloy, over here. Karst? What are you doing here? Careful. Pretend like we've never met. I wasn't supposed to trade with outcasts in the wilds, remember? How could I forget? And how generous of you to talk to me now. Don't be like that. You know I'll be rooting for you in the Proving tomorrow. Can't wait to see the looks in some of these faces when you win. And if you need any last-minute supplies, uh, I'm your man. Let's do this.
See you later, Karst. Good luck. In a moment, we shall bless the proving. But first, we have guests to welcome. For two years, we have been at peace with Akarja. It is time to restore our bonds of trade with Meridian. These envoys come to us under a banner of peace. Peace, peace. <clears throat> An annunciation of gratitude written Killers by and the slavers. hand of yeah. Sun King yeah. of Earth. Killers and Slavers! Killers and Slavers! Hey, hey! Luminance of Hold your fruit, nor if nor faithful. Hold your fruit. Now, I'm Azaram, not Karja. So I'll put it to you straight. The 13th Sun King was a murderous bum. Oh, he was. He was a tyrant and a monster. He raided my tribe for blood sacrifice, just like yours. My own sister was taken. I hated the Karchans. But the 13th King is dead. Two years now. now who killed him? The 14th. Not because he, he lusted for power, but because someone had to put an end to his father's atrocities. Yeah! yeah. The message that this poor priest means to read is an apology, straight from the lips of the 14th King. So please, can't you lend him your ears? Hey, thank you. <clears throat> an enunciation of gratitude, written by the hand of Sun King Avad, 14th luminance of the Radiant Line. Of On the eve of your proving, no, the Karja stand with you. I'm with High Matriarch Lanzar. We shouldn't let those Karja outsiders pollute our sacred land. As those you have nurtured, how am I supposed to enjoy myself with those bloodthirsty Karja faithless hanging about we profaning join the your land? Prayers. But they will stand I'm with tall in the sun. We shouldn't. I am grateful for your audience. To be taken into Unknown your embrace. Detected. How am I supposed to thank the wisdom of your elders, just like mine. The mercy of mm. your mother, with our tribes with united in trade and in trust. I pray oh, that the Nora may never again I'm mourn the death of a child. Just like mine. Our we do not land. forget our history. We do How am I supposed to enjoy myself with those my bloodthirsty father. Karja faithless we hanging about, profaning the land? Who bravely defended He's your land. Focus, just like Their mine. Their blood is a stain on the honor of the Karja. Are you supposed Our to find a focus? The Karja the did to my tribe. With smoke okay. and cruelty. Nora He's wearing a focus, just like mine. Yes. I have grieved.